Do plants breathe? Do you love plants? We do and you should too. Plants do all sorts of great things for us. From providing fruit and vegetables to taking in carbon dioxide and releasing oxygen during photosynthesis. But do you know plants also require oxygen for breathing? Yes, it's true. But how plants produce oxygen even though they need oxygen for respiration? Plants actually hold on to a small amount of the oxygen they produce in photosynthesis and use that oxygen to break down carbohydrates to generate energy. But what happens at night when there is no sunlight which is needed in photosynthesis? Interestingly, in order to maintain their metabolism and continue respiration at night, plants must absorb oxygen from the air and give off carbon dioxide, which is exactly what animals do. Fortunately, for all of us oxygen breathers, plants produce approximately 10 times more oxygen during the day than what they consume at night. So let's study more about respiration, commonly known as breathing of plants. Plants, unlike animals, have no specialized organs for gaseous exchange, but they have stomata and lenticels for this purpose. The breaking of carbon-carbon bond of complex compounds glucose through oxidation within the cells, leading to release of considerable amount of energy is called respiration. The compounds that are oxidized during this process are known as respiratory substrates. Respiration in all eukaryotes including plant involves three major steps. Glycolysis, Krebs cycle and oxidative phosphorylation or electron transport chain. Let's look at glycolysis first. Glycolysis term was given by Gustav Emden, Otto Meerhoff and J. Parnas and it is often referred to as the EMP pathway. It occurs in the cytoplasm of the cell and this step does not require any oxygen molecule. In this process, glucose undergoes partial oxidation to form two molecules of pyruvic acid or pyruvate. Net yield in glycolysis is two ATP and two NADH molecules. What is NADH? NADH is coenzyme which has the ability to transfer electron during phosphorylation. After glycolysis pervate is transformed into acetyl COA in the mitochondria for the next step that is Krebs cycle. Second step in Krebs cycle, this is also called the citric acid cycle or tricarboxylic acid cycle. This step requires oxygen and takes place in mitochondria. In this step, acetyl coenzyme A undergo oxidation and produce carbon dioxide, 2 ATP, 6 NADH and 2 FADH2. FADH2 is also coenzyme like NADH which transfers electron during phosphorylation. Third step, an oxidative phosphorylation or electron transport chain. It occurs in inner membrane of mitochondria and requires oxygen. This is very complicated process. In this step, electrons are transferred from NADH and the FADH to several electron carrier. And they are used to create proton gradient. The protons are used to activate an amazing enzyme called ATP synthase. This enzyme takes phosphates and add them to ADP. When one phosphate added to ADP, ATP is formed. While oxygen are final acceptor of electrons, when oxygen molecule combined with two protons, it will form H2O, that is water. An electron transport chain 34 ATP molecules are formed. Hence, during respiration in eukaryotes, one molecule of glucose produces 38 ATP molecules. Let's solve some important questions from medical entrance exams. Question. Glycolysis was invented by number 1 Calvin, number 2 Krebs, number 3 JC Bose, number 4 none of the above. This question was asked in AIPMT 2004. Solution Glycolysis was given by Gustav Emden, Otto Meerhoff, and J. Parnas and is often referred to as the EMP pathway. Hence, option 4 is correct. Question in citric acid cycle, number of NADH produced are 
Number 1, 6. Number 2, 5. Number 3, 4. Number 4, 3. This question was asked in AFMC 2008. Solution. In Krebs cycle, acetyl coenzyme A undergo oxidation and produces carbon dioxide, 2 ATP, 6 NADH and 2 FADH2. Hence, option 1 is correct. This video concludes about respiration in plants. To know more about respiration in plants, please visit our next video. Please like, share and comment on the video and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. For more interesting and educational videos to earn while you learn, download Extra Class app from Google Play Store and get rewarded for